Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you one of my favorite ways to save money on the grocery budget. And that is making your own seasoning at home with bulk spices from your pantry. We've all been to the grocery store where they have that big huge section of different packets that you can pick up to season your food. And they're all at least a dollar. Uh, some of them more than that. So what I like to do is shop for spices in bulk, look for them on sale, look for a great deal, stock up that way, and then make my own seasoning mix. Uh, another really great benefit to making your own seasoning mix at home, besides being cost effective, is that you can cater it to the taste of you and your family. Uh, we are going to be making taco seasoning today because we are currently out of it. And that is a great spot to mention uh, making the seasoning to your taste because this has cumin in it, which some people can be really sensitive to. So you can use a little more if you really like it or you can use a little less. It totally is changeable depending on what you want. So we are gonna get started, and I'm just gonna start with our base, which is paprika, and I'm gonna put it straight into the jar that um, I keep it in. This is just a reused jelly jar. So I found a basic taco seasoning recipe a long time ago that I've continued to stick with, and I just multiply it by four and mix it up in this jar. So we have half a cup minus one tablespoon of paprika. To that, we are going to add five teaspoons of garlic powder, and we're just gonna pour that right in. Following that is another five teaspoons of onion powder. Cumin. This is uh, five teaspoons as well, but feel free to put more or less depending on your taste. Four teaspoons of chili powder. Now this chili powder uh, reminded me of something quick that I would like to point out if you are going to be buying bulk seasoning like this, uh, bulk, bulk, bulk spices like this. Um, pay attention to the ingredients. You might think you're just getting chili powder, but in fact, you're getting chili pepper, spices, salt, and garlic, uh, where the rest of these do not have any salt or other spices added to it. Now, this has been fine. We'll continue to use it. We have been using it. Uh, we will finish it up but it's a good thing to watch out for because I don't know what spices are that are added to this and I don't know how much salt. So you need to be careful with how much salt you add to something that you make with this chili powder because we just don't know. So just a little tip on bulk spices. Moving on, we have four teaspoons of oregano that we're just gonna pour in right on top. And then I was out of little bowls, so I just have the last two combined in here. We have one and a half tablespoons of salt. So actually, this would call for two tablespoons. But again, I have salt in this chili powder and we don't like things super salty. So I cut back a little bit here. And then two tablespoons of cornstarch. And why you wanna add the cornstarch is to make sure that your seasoning mix doesn't clump up. And I'm just gonna scrape the rest of that cornstarch into there. Now, we are pretty full at the top. I really like how it looks all layered. But we are gonna go in with our butter knife first. 
and I like to just chop it through to like mix up the spices, get them really nice and incorporated. Have to be careful, I spilled a little bit because this is definitely max capacity for this jar. All right, so once I go through it with the butter knife a little bit, I will add the lid. You can see there's about probably an inch of space in there. I'm gonna put the lid on real tight and then I just shake it. And you're gonna wanna do this for a little bit because you want everything to be super mixed up and incorporated so that every time you use this for tacos, you have the same flavor. And after shaking it for a little bit, I just go back in with the butter knife. And then you would just wanna look on the side and it should be the same color kinda all the way through. I'm just gonna shake it one last time. All right, and there is our little container of taco seasoning. This is gonna last so much longer than a packet, first of all. And once you take into consideration how much of each ingredient you used, the same or less than a packet, for sure. Um, and then I just do two tablespoons in one pound of ground beef or turkey, whatever your ground meat preference is. So we are going to uh, make tacos so that we can test out the seasoning for you. So I will see you shortly with that. All right, we're back and it is taco night. So we are going to get started with that using the taco seasoning that we just made together. So I have my burner here. I'm gonna get that turned on about a medium high. Get my skillet on there and get that warming up. I'm gonna turn that down just a smidgen, closer to medium. We're having beef tacos because that is what we prefer. I'm just gonna let the skillet warm up I forget how fast this burner works, so that's probably ready for us to add our ground beef. I like to alternate between this kind of more of a wooden spatula thing to chop up the meat, but then I also, this is my favorite cooking spoon in the whole entire world. It's got these silicone like spatula edges and measuring uh, lines in it. So it's just really great for serving and swing that around. to just keep moving my taco meat and chopping it up and trying to get it into uniform pieces. Once I'm at the point where the meat is the consistency that our family likes, I will rinse this off and switch over to this spoon to just kind of move it around. I 
Just keep it moving till there's really no pink left. And we're gonna go ahead and turn that off because our pan is still hot. It's gonna keep cooking the meat. Now, one thing that we do a little bit different than most people when making taco meat is I don't really drain the grease and water. This is what I use for the seasoning um, mix to mix in there because unless you're using like really, really fatty beef, then I'll take some of it out. But other than that, I just use the grease and water for flavor and to help dissolve the seasoning and kind of make the sauce. Now for this seasoning that we've made, I like to do two tablespoons to one pound of ground meat. And you can see like that barely even touched the jar. We have so many taco nights in this jar, which is just awesome. And then just make sure to mix that. And that is like perfect looking taco meat. So we are going to grab our toppings real quick so that we can throw a taco together and enjoy taco night. All right, so I have my taco assembled. Uh, we are gonna just try some of this meat plain without all our taco toppings. It's so good. I prefer this over the packets. And again, I think that's because you can tweak it to your own taste. If you want more cumin, you can add more of that. If you want more garlic, or you can cut back on different spices. Definitely think this is the way to go. And is summer not the best time for taco night because you can throw on your fresh garden tomatoes and lettuce. So good. I always overstuff my tacos. Absolutely one of our favorite budget hacks. I'm really excited for you guys to try that out. If you have any other uh, season packet hacks or recipes, make sure to let me know in the, in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.